mysteries. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will, be, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you so much for joining us, for tuning in. And we're having a live broadcast right now. We're also having a recorded, a recorded one. <laughs> praise the Lord. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we'll thank you. We'll give you praise. We'll bless your holy name because your word is good. Thank you for directions, illuminations from your word. Well, thank you for giving us your word and for giving us the Holy Spirit to teach you, to teach us your word, to reveal the revelation of your word to our spirit man, so that we may know what belongs to us in Christ. Well, thank you for your will is for us to prosper in all areas. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen, amen. Glory to God. All right, with me again, I have uh, my wonderful friend and brother who is mightily used of God, praise the Lord, in the area of prophetic office. And I know that you're going to be blessed this afternoon, this morning, this evening, as the case may be. I have with me Prophet Dr. Thomas Manson of Dominion International Ministries, <clears throat> which is based in Kenya. That is where the premier headquarters is. Also, they have uh, offices and uh, uh, association in South Africa, Tanzania, Nigeria. Glory to God. Dr. Thomas, welcome to World of His Power Brokers. It's great to be here, my friend. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is Hallelujah. the day the Lord's made. That's right. And we're going to rejoice all day long. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory. I like that. We're going to rejoice all day long. Non-stop. You know, um, Prophet Thomas, what brings joy is the goodness of the Lord. Yeah. And yeah. what we are talking about today is, people of God, we are talking about God's will is for you to prosper. Yes, sir. Glory to God. God's yes, will is for you to prosper. Amen. Yes. I mean... I'm just going to advise, please, take off the religious glance. Just listen to us. Let God reveal from his word to you. You're going to see that a lot of people always think for a believer to be rich or to have money is something that is bad. But as God will help us today, we're going to take you through God's word. Prophet Thomas and I, you're going to see from God's word that it is God's will for you to prosper, to have abundant money. Glory to God, yes. about that money. Praise the Lord. Um, Prophet Thomas, I'm going to read this scripture, then we'll take, up, we'll take it off sure. from there as the Lord will Go guide us. It. Glory to God. Um, Psalm 35, verse 27. He said, Let Bum. them shout for joy, joy and be glad. Yes. That favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. Wow. He said, Let them say continually, let them say continually. It's not something that you should just say, oh, God has pleasure. Maybe yesterday, no. That God always delights, takes pleasure. So what, you, is, is, what he's saying is, we should say, Lord, we magnify you all in there. Because you are good. You have pleasure in us, prospering. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, Dr. Thomas, that word prosperity there is from the Greek word shalom. Greek word shalom. And it means to be well, happy. To be to to have a, a good welfare, health, prosperity, peace. Yes. Prosperity, peace. Glory to God. It means safe, health, peaceable, completeness, soundness, welfare, peace. Is that completeness in number, sound, uh, safety, soundness in body, welfare, health, prosperity, peace, tranquility, quiet, contentment, friendship, everything. That is why wow. say. Prosperity is not just in the area of money. It's everything. Everything. Yeah. Because we have been successful financially. Yes. We have been successful bodily. We have been successful in every area. Yes. Awesome. Well, you know, it's amazing. It, God thought so much of the word shalom. He made it one of his names. He, hmm. he said, I'm, I'm Jehovah Shalom. Hallelujah. Hmm. And I bet... Um, uh, you that are listening didn't know that it, shalom meant all those things. Hmm. We just use it as a... a uh, interactive word or replaceable word mm. with the word peace mm. but it's more than peace just like salvation is oh. more than you know but, uh, deliverance from spiritual mm. death it's also healing it's also yeah. deliverance from evil in this Praise world it's God. also prosperity it's also mm. health and you know soundness of mind mm. and deliverance from fear Horse. comes by a sound mind mm. so peace will also give you that mm. And I love the scripture there, Psalm 35, 27. It's, it's always been one of my favorites. Yeah. And I didn't know you were going to share that. <laughs> Praise God. I mean, I, when you said it, I was like, wow. <laughs> and, um, yeah, please share it. Somebody wrote on the screen, please share it. Somebody just inboxed me. Um, you could write it on the uh, 
broadcast to hit the share button, hit the invite button, That's get right. all your friends on this. Praise and and this is dangerous what we're going to share. God's been talking to me today. Uh, I got some things to unload, and I got to warn you, this is only part one. I don't Lord. know how many ser <laughs> serious segments we're going to do on this, but phrase, this is just uh, part one for a few minutes. This hmm. is the opener, so hmm. get ready for more. And uh, there's so much uh, vastness uh, hmm. of, of revelation to share about hmm. wealth generation, wealth creation, and yeah. uh, you know, as part of the covenant of God. That's right. I am. And in this world, you need money. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. Psalm thirty-five twenty-seven, as I, as I was saying, uh, says he that God takes pleasure in the mm -hmm. prosperity of His servant. That's now, right. listen here. <laughs> you say, "Who's God's servant? Is that a pastor, a mm -hmm. preacher, an evangelist, an <laughs> apostle, a reverend doctor?" No, can be them. Mm. It's really it. It's, it said servant. It didn't mm. say pastor or mm -hmm. leader. Mm -hmm. Whoever is serving him Amen. should prosper. Amen. Whoever is serving him should prosper. I heard a great testimony today, and I mm. really encourage me. I wanted to. I'll tell the person when I see them again. But mm. they gave a public testimony before billions of people on television, mm. and thousands of people, you know, watching on the uh, internet, and, and maybe uh, over a thousand people in the in the attendance in the auditorium. Mm. So it was a, had a mass uh, impact. And they said, you know, they went to serve God somewhere mm. in a mission. Uh, last week, hmm. and they needed money to pay their bills, and people just started to come and give them money, hmm. Hmm. and they ended up with a few thousand, a couple of thousand, or a few thousand dollars. Hmm. Took care of all their expenses, what they need. Now, Praise when God. they were home, they didn't have it, but when they went to serve, are you getting this? Hmm. Are you getting this? When Hallelujah. they went to serve, hmm. it just began to flow, and I thought that's wonderful. That's Lord. that's a biblical reality. That's that's, right. that's a that's a kingdom advancement hmm. thing. Now, the kingdom mm. is wherever Jesus is Lord. That's right. The kingdom of God is wherever Jesus is Lord. It's Lord. his domain place. But mm. when you're serving him, mm. uh, you know, he'll begin to bless you. That's right. So you can't expect God to overdose you with uh, all kinds of wealth and generation of things when you're doing nothing. Mm. You know what I mean? you got to get out there. you got to get busy about the Father's business. you gotta, you got to be doing something. And the diligent hand makes rich, Proverbs That's says. right. That's but right. But the slack hand makes the want. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands. Wow. A little turning over <laughs> the <laughs> bed like, <laughs> like a door on its hinges <laughs> will tend to poverty. Yeah, and the poverty will come and hunt <laughs> you, and you'll be stuck there. Mm. So you got to get out and do something. That's I, right. I, I want to say one thing here. Hmm. In regard to the covenant of God, Praise God. God is not lazy. No. He's he's always been busy. That's right. He never has a bad day. He sees mm. a lot of bad things, but mm. he doesn't have a bad day. <laughs> you can't disturb his progress. Mm. And you know, when God's really upon your life, you may go through a few challenges, have a mm. few obstacles, but you can't really you really can't uh, you know succeed in any great way. Mm. You got to be busy about the father's Amen. business. Even Jesus, when he was little, hmm. twelve-year-old boy, he told his parents, who were bewildered and puzzled, they didn't know what he was doing. Hmm. He said, "Don't you know already? What's wrong with you? I hmm. must be about my father's business. business." When he was young, he was already Lord, after it. And John twenty-one twenty-five, and hmm. we said this before, says, "If it were to be written, all the things that Jesus said and hmm. did, it, the, the whole world couldn't contain the volumes hmm. of the books to be written <laughs> thereof." about all the things that he did. So he was mm. busy. He was That's working. Right. He was mm. moving. And I want to just challenge everybody. Mm. Very simply, if you don't have enough direction, God will direct you. I'll get Amen. to that in a minute. I have Amen. a powerful verse on that. Mm. I'm going to share a little bit about Amen. that. Open God. that up in a few moments. But mm. uh, if you don't have enough direction, mm. just ask God for one or two things. Mm. You know, <laughs> the anointing falling in. Glory. He's going to do it. Just Glory. ask him. Praise Say, God. give me. Something illuminate my mind. Don't Hallelujah. let me have any idle time. That's Give fine. me something. Amen. But you know, sometimes God will be glorified when mm. He wants to bless one of His own. Mm. He'll kind of leave you sometimes in a situation, so we can't lament too much. The main thing is that you get blessed <laughs> later. If you didn't get blessed Praise yesterday, you're going to get blessed today and tomorrow. It's glory. okay. Glory to God. That still brings glory to God. You know, Amen. it's part of His covenant. Amen. You but ask mm. God. Mm. Pastor, I got to say this again. Amen. Ask God, my friend, to give you an assignment. Mm. Oh, I feel the I feel I'm just full of it. Full of the anointing. I tell you, it's just full. Ask God to give you an idea, a thought, a definite direction of what to work on, and He will prosper you in that thing. Amen. Amen. That's a word from the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Ask God 
for an idea or for a thing or what or what to work on, and he will prosper you in that thing. Because he said, a diligent hand rules. Makes rich. And if Makes you rich. already know that you've heard God and you're already hmm. on the job, on the job, so to speak, hmm. then do more. Yeah. Ask him to help you to do more. Yeah. And yeah. and be more creative with it and expand it out hmm. there. Yeah. You, you know, uh, Dr. Thomas, the testimony that you gave, you said uh, those people, they were in need of something, but they went out and they began in to... Faith, to in faith, to work for Jesus. To work for Jesus. And he, and he paid their... And he, he, paid he gave that. them money. Because the scripture says a, yes, le a laborer is worthy of his wage. Yeah. And, and the scripture also says God is not unrighteous to forget our labor of love, which we have shown. And, we have missed and, that and this, person was a, this person was a bit, you know, a little, a little bit eccentric because they went without... Some people would maybe consider it mm. irresponsible. Mm. You travel without... Without a, a credit card that's loaded mm. with credit or, 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 or a card that doesn't have any money in it. But, but, but and they going. just went in faith and wow. God met them along the way. You know, the Lord. We Good. still have to exercise our faith regardless yeah, of that. That's right. Exercise our faith. But they, they have the heart to, to, to put the kingdom of God first. Right. You know, from this scripture in Ma Ma Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. I mean, from there, Jesus was talking about so many things, about us being worried about this or that. But he says something in verse 33. He said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. You borrowed my scripture. I was going to go there, but go ahead. <laughs> but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. You know, and, said, and all and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah. Let me say something about hmm. that. Praise God. Seeking first the <laughs> kingdom of God. What is it? Church, mm. maybe. Mm. If God is really there doing something. Mm. And you've got an assignment to do something there, maybe. Is it uh, evangelism? Yeah, of course. Mm. But, uh, you know, the kingdom, mm. kingdom, dom, comes from the word domain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And dominion. We get dominion. That's mm. the name of our ministry. We get dominion Hallelujah. from that. Domain. Praise God. Hmm. Wherever Jesus is Lord, hmm. you know what? I'm asking God to fill my car, my house, my my every room, hmm. and new properties that I that I purchase and possess and hmm. get blessed with. I just want God's presence to saturate the Man. whole place. I want to feel God all day long. I Man. want Him to be talking to me. I want it to be a place of purpose. Lord, That's a place where Jesus is Lord. That's right. And now you're going to begin to get mm. ideas and creative ways of doing things. Mm. And, of course, he'll get in the midst of prospering. Mm. So I feel, by the Spirit of the Lord today, that many people don't have enough uh, direction. Mm. You don't have enough inspiration. You mm. need some more, like, encouragement. You mm. need some more passion. You need some more ideas. You need some people to help you. Mm. And I just pray and declare, yeah, as God's servant just, here and with our pastor here, we, we're praying for you that God will give you friends. He'll give you that. Man, this is powerful. He'll give you networks. He'll give you people. He'll give you deals. He'll give you ideas. He'll give you customers. He'll give you clients. He'll give you advisors. He'll give you workers. He'll give you staff. He'll give you people to open doors. I mean, these things need to happen. Hmm. But the first connection, again, you said it, hmm. seek first the, the kingdom, kingdom of God and God. his righteousness. righteousness. That means to be right with him, and then hmm. all these other things are going to hmm. be at the flow. Amen. Amen. So wherever there's a blockage, hmm. God still had the plan Amen. for you to prosper. That's right. Praise God. He hasn't changed his mind. He's Amen. not going to change his mind. Hmm. It's not him that's troubling mm. you. It's the devil and maybe some crazy people. Mm. But uh, you got you got to cut through all of that Amen. and get to the place where I God and you are together in a relational connection that's mm. so awesome and tangible mm. and tight and and working. Mm. And then the whole thing will begin to flow. Glory to God. But God had already planned. Hallelujah. For you to have all that you needed beyond, and then also also to seek the kingdom. Mm. And Amen. to develop things in the kingdom, and that's where Jesus is Lord. Glory Amen. to God. You, you, you know, um, Dr. Thomas, there is something that is so important in our walk with God. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. And the word of God says faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Now, for us, everything in the kingdom works by faith. Because in that Matthew 6, that was what Jesus was teaching us. Our faith. But we've got to pull first and first. But we've got to have faith that God is our source, is our provider. Yes, sir. He's our source, our provider. So, the, uh, you know, a man of God says something. I think uh, Brother F.F. Bosworth, you know, mightily used of God. He wrote a book, uh, Christ the Healer. 
He says something, faith begins when the will of God is known. So which means, if we that don't know, right there. if we don't Talk know, about it. yeah, if we don't yes. know that it's God's will for us to prosper. Some people don't know. You need to if know our mind first. is not renewed, we can't have it. This is part one. Let's, let's, let's build the foundation here. Let's lay the foundation. <laughs> the foundation, stuff. right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You gotta so know if, if our mind is not renewed, yes. if we don't know that it's God's will for us to have abundant money, yes. because, you know, you know, uh, Prophet Thomas, there is this fear that always comes to people's mind that oh, money is that money is evil. No, the love, <laughs> the, the <laughs> lust, the lust and greed and wrong use of it, and to fulfill carnal mm. things and like mm. to do evil—that's what's evil. That's the right. money by itself is not. It's a tool to is buy a house that you right. want. It's a tool to buy a building Raise you want to have up. a ministry center. Mm. It's a tool to have vehicles and mm. transportation mm. and equipment for your offices mm. and your business. It's it's a way to send your kids to school right. and to have to eat healthy organic food costs mm. more than the regular food. Mm. You don't want to eat all this junk, especially the GMO <laughs> stuff that's cheap or buy it at the uh, you know the two for you know the two for one everywhere. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, some shops have good stuff. You, I've even found organic. They have it on sale. It's great when you get a sale. It's Glory really so to good. God. I, I love sales, by the Pray. way. We don't, like the, we don't like to waste anything. We love those those Black Friday deals Amen. and those special sales. We, we want it. But uh, money's good because it helps you fulfill the plan of God. That's now, God made the gold in the mm. earth, and he put the oil in the earth, and he put all the precious Please. commodities and textiles and the trees and mm. the, <clears throat> the, the, the foliage and mm. man and the animals. Mm. And the uh, minerals and the precious stones, mm. the diamonds, mm. rubies, emeralds, sapphires, my God, mm. the onyx and the crystal and uh, things you make glass with and mm. things you make. And all of these things were made. Listen here. Listen here. Mm. Even religious person, listen to me well. Look, look here. <laughs> look, look, look. God. Put it there, not the devil. Not the devil. <laughs> That's yeah, right. Get that in your, in your head, please. God. Put it there, not the devil. Let me say something real quick. People are coming on sovereignly, and you're writing. You're right. I'm also getting a lot of inbox messages uh, with your business name. Write your business name on the screen. Mm. What you believe in God for? Your yeah. entrepreneurial yeah. adventure. Type it. Type it. Type it. Put it. Put it. Put it. I'm releasing fire over in the name Jesus of Jesus. Name that God Lord will begin to, to prosper you yes. from today. Today is the first day of the week. That's right. In, in the kingdom scope of things. Today is Sunday. Sunday, the first day of the week. Monday morning is not the first day. That's the day you're going to work. The day begins today, the Sabbath day, the day, the holy day, the day we're in the presence Amen. of God. Amen. And uh, that, that's the first day, Amen. okay? From today, the first day of the week, Sunday. Even First uh, Corinthians 16.2 proves Lord, that out. Paul said, from the first day of the week, mm. put aside mm. something for the ministry. Calabar. All right? Now, now that was the day mm. of the gathering of, on fine. Sunday. That mm -hmm. wasn't on Monday or Tuesday <laughs> when people go to the office or go to their mm. job or go to work. All right? That was on Sunday. Mm. He said, from the first of the week, the first day of the week, put mm. aside something. First Corinthians 16, verse mm. 2, for the work of the ministry. Mm. Those of you that want to partner with us, connect, send, mm. sow, give, mm. tithe, do it, do it, mm. do it, do it. And I want to see your names. You can inbox me mm. privately if you, if you don't want to. Or you could type it on the screen of where you're watching Amen. from. I want to pray. I feel the anointing to release fire for expansion and Amen. breakthrough. And every devil, listen to me, that's held you back from getting into the realm where things are really flowing mm. and flourishing, flowing mm. and flourishing, mm. and prospering, that day is over and ending today in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. You know, you know, people of God, I'm just going to tell you something. You know, wherever the word of the Lord is being preached or taught, there is an anointing. I always follow yes, that Yes, sir. Word. Confirming it. Confirming the word. And making it and become making real. It become real. And Glory to God. Yes. You know, when we, when we, the Bible says, as Jesus was preaching and teaching, that the power of God was present to heal. Yes, sir. So evidently, Jesus was talk, talk, uh, talking about healing. Yes, sir. That the power to heal was present. Yes. As we are talking about God's will is for you to prosper, yes. the anointing to bring those words to pass is present right now. So when the man of God is saying, you know, whatever ideas, you know, your business ideas or entrepreneur, that business company that you are called the food tradition, and grow the and those there, is, there is someone Receive watching it. us right now, you know, yes. you you have an idea that this is an idea that has been coming through through your spirit to your mind, you know, particularly in the area of business, you know, in the area of business to start something, to start something is that you are saying that oh no, that cannot be me, that cannot be me. Where is the money going to come from? Where is this going to come from? The Lord is saying as you take the step, every of the resources that is needed to fulfill that will begin to come your way. Glory to God. 
Praise the Lord. Prophesy. Hallelujah. That's it. So I just want you to understand that the power of God is present to bring to pass prosperity in your life. He said, whatever you need hmm. to get it to be set up and flowing, Amen. God is going to help arrange that. Amen. Now you need to get busy and diligent to, to go out with forceful faith, hmm. forceful That's faith fine. to begin to say, now I'm going to find it and Amen. God will help you. Amen. He'll help you. Praise God. Praise God. So, understanding the will of the Lord, it is very important. You know, look at what uh, Third John says, Third John 2. Yes, sir. Because the scriptures say, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverbs. If we don't renew our mind, our mind can be a limiter, even when God is giving us an idea. Mm. When God is saying, I need you to start this. This entrepreneurial thing. I need you giving us ideas, but because we, we our religious thinking can limit us. Look at what verse 2 says, man of God. Third John 2. He said, Beloved, I wish above all things. Beloved. Who's that? That's you. That's, That's me. Amen. That's you. That's you. Praise That's God. Me. He said, I wish above all things. Well, this goes along with Psalm 35, verse 27. And IV says, yes, sir. I desire above all things. Mm. New King James says, I pray mm. above all things that you mm. prosper. Wow. And that's in the Bible. That's right. In the Bible. <laughs> so we, we don't accept Praise any argument God. about it. Oh. it just, we'll, we'll, we'll refer you back to the, to to the, the owner's manual. Amen. The manual. Yes, sir. That's <laughs> because what, because the, the, the Bible is the word of God. And the word of God is God speaking to us now. Yes, sir. So we are reading from God's word. Psalm 35, verse 27, the Bible says in the mouth, or in the mouth of two or three witnesses yes. shall every word be established. We have a lot of references that we're going to give you today. I'm telling you. I mean, we are having laying a foundation. Glory to God. But I just want you to be open. Look at what the scripture is saying. Is that beloved, I wish above all things, or as, as you said, New King James, I desire above everything mm -hmm. that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. You know, I've seen something that I never saw before. That's this very second when you said it, it mm. just clicked on. And I, I may have thought of this, but it's just become like a mm. fresh revelation again. Mm. If I had if I had seen it before. When your financial stress ends, because that's segment one, mm. part A in the in the verse, yeah? Mm. Then in and be in health. So maybe stress of financial problems mm. affects health. Now, you know what? Mm. We don't have to guess that it does. We know that it does. It does. That's why. <laughs> so your your your, right. your well being financially will also give you a feeling of confidence. That's right. And well being and That's your right. health will begin to flourish. That's and right. then of course there's a covenant of healing for health because mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. you can't be sick and enjoy your your, your the money. You can't. What God gives you. No, you cannot. And the peace of mind. You see, mm. it's like the referee between Hallelujah. the two. Praise the Lord. You know, from what you just said, Dr. Thomas. When somebody is stressful, it affects every part of the body. I mean, sure. as part of being in the medical profession, when somebody stress is prone to have hypertension, I mean, from hypertension, it can affect every part of the body. And it can weaken, it can weaken every part of the body. I found an article, let me hmm. say this quick, I found an article hmm. on, uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in the internet, hmm. and I put it on my Facebook page. So if you look on my page here on Facebook, hmm. and scroll up and down a bit, because I post so many things, there, there's one article there about um, slowing down the aging process, hmm. something about anti-aging. Hmm. This is one thing that causes severe aging hmm. is high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, stress like that and, mm -hmm. and, you know, the functions of the body not working mm -hmm. right and it causes mm -hmm. you to, to, uh, to, to be unhealthy. Yeah. So, and, you know, so many people write me, hundreds, mm -hmm. hundreds and th into the thousands, mm -hmm. like many thousands. Mm -hmm. And if I were to add it up over the years, uh, it's one of the biggest prayer requests mm -hmm. we've probably received is, High is, about, is about is about finance. Mm, finance, right. Mm -hmm. And then somebody's sick, and I wonder why they were mm. sick. Maybe they were too stressed out. Mm. And and they just <clears throat> need money to live. And mm. it's that important. Uh, one one teacher said, uh, money's not important, is mm. it? It just ranks so high up there like, like oxygen. Don't take breath for a while, and you're going to have a real problem. You know, it, it's, it's very important. Let's pray again. Father, so thank you. My, my dear old friend from uh, decades ago in New York, Anthony. God bless you, my friend. We look forward to seeing you one of these days. My childhood uh, schoolmate, yeah. Amen. 
And they're even coming on, finding us on Facebook. I love this. I love this uh, media. Father, we thank you right now for the alleviation of stress. Again, this is part one. We don't have much time. We're just laying a little groundwork here. And we'll, we'll continue this. But uh, that I, I just feel the presence of God right now, that the Lord is going to just give you peace even in the midst of the storm. And when you have that peace and that touch from heaven and some joy and some, you know, uh, just rejuvenation of your, your spirit and your soul. Then your mind will begin to get clear and God can begin to talk to you to give you some what to do, how to do, where to do, why to do, what to do next. And there's one thing in life that you really need to know all the time. It's probably the most important thing. Someone tried to simplify it, said there's only one thing you need to know in life. Now that gets everybody's ears up. Okay, let me tell me what it is. There's only one? I thought there was millions and trillions. Maybe. There's, there's so many, mm. but there's only one thing you always need to know mm. is what to do next. Mm. Mm. Right now, bang, I need to know what to do next, mm. what I'm going to say next, what I'm, gonna th- what I'm think. the next thing, the next thing, the next mm. thing. And then you, then the, even if a millisecond passed, twinkling mm. of an eye, you need to know what to do next. Mm. So God wants to, believe me when I tell you, wants to fill your imagination and flood your soul with his ideas. And mm. we know this. By revelation, that mm. that sometimes ideas mm. are actually not just ideas; they're actually instructions. <laughs> because you might not have known how to hear that voice. You're not mm. in the prophetic movement. Mm. You 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 haven't been trained in that. You you get you get like a an impression in your mind that mm. is a recurring thought. That is not always just an idea alone. Mm. It's also an instruction from the mm. boss. Hmm. And he can flood your imagination with that. I pray today that you'll have no lack. After we finish here today, you'll have no lack of of creative uh, uh, ideas and instructions for the assignment that God's given you. And you will begin to prosper in new ways from today in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, praise God. Ooh, we only have a four more minutes. Praise the Lord. People of God, this is just the first episode of this. Because um, just like you said, you say you get a lot of prayer requests that people are always asking for finance, finance for prayer, their business, for, for their, their business, career, for their, for their debts, for their rent, for, for their rent arrears, and all the kinds of things they need money. You yes. know, yes. You, you, you know, you know um, um, brother Egan said something. He said there are two areas in which we need to be feeding our faith on consistently. Is that number one is health? Yes, sir. Number two is finance. Yes, provision, provision. And health, finance, and provision. But he, he also got he, great teacher, great man. Yeah. He got it from the Bible. From the Bible. You said it You what? said it right here, uh-huh. Pastor. Uh-huh. Third John 2, I, yeah. I, about prosperity, health, and then the, 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 the mind, the, yeah. the, the prosperity in your soul. Prosperity in your soul. So, the, I, mean, I, I, I mean, I I had the top three. It's really one. the top three if it you is. think about it. It is. You know, because uh, without those three, how can you operate in no. this world? Prosperity, <clears> uh, <throat> of, um, of faith. It's on prosperity <clears throat> and health, finance, health. Then the other third one that I also believe it is important is for us to understand the principles of faith, because the Bible says the just by, shall live by faith. By if, faith. if there are opposition that are coming, yes. If there are opposition that are coming, that's not away, away your confidence. <laughs> exactly. We should not throw away, exactly. We should not throw away our confidence. Live by faith. A little pressure on us on financially. We should understand that God is still working. So, people of God, for us. So dwell on this because, it, as you said, people want to pay their rent, want to pay their school fees, their student school fees, many, many things. Or their mortgage. Or mortgage. They, they, they're also running right. a company. They it's need a general thing. Staff. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. I mean, even, the, even to what God operations. has called you to do, you need money to do it. Lots. Lots of money. Let me, let me, let, let's close with this. You know, the program director, she's, she's so anointed back there. She, last time she was waving like this, and, and I, saw, I saw you you go like, just hold on, just hold on, we're flowing it, just give us a minute. Praise but uh, the Lord spoke to me earlier today, mm. something so powerful, mm. and I would be remiss not to at least mm. announce it. We'll, we'll pick up the next uh, one and get more into this. But from Isaiah forty-eight seventeen, mm. the Bible says, I am the Lord your God. Hallelujah. This is God speaking to, to God. us, his, his, his people, mm. and even on an individual basis. I am the Lord your God mm. who will teach you how to prosper. Prosper, <laughs> prosper yes, yes, and to prosper. profit. 
And I will lead you in the way you should go. There's Powerful. that direction again. Powerful. You see how the two, it's like they're married together. Praise the two, God. how can two walk together except so to be agreed? Agree. The scripture says so. So you got to have his direction. Mm. He'll lead you in the way you should go. The steps of a good one order the Lord, mm. he also said. And uh, his word is a, is a light unto our, uh, it's lamp, a lamp unto our, our feet, feet yeah. and a light unto our path. Right. Yeah, from the psalm. And, uh, not 119. <clears throat> and uh, that's the longest psalm, by the way. Psalm 119. Mm -hmm. It's got 164, 60, 165 verses, verses, something like that. And it's mm -hmm. all about the word mm -hmm. and about the direction of God. So mm -hmm. take time to read Psalm 119 mm -hmm. again. Just, just do it in Jesus' name. Amen. But, you know, mm -hmm. the Lord spoke to me and he said, and I was writing this down. I was writing my credit card details down. I was sowing a seed. And I'm going to sow another one later today also. I want to sow a seed. And those of you that would feel maybe inclined to do this in any way, uh, let me give you the number. Now, this is what I felt led of the Lord mm. to do. You can, you can follow my faith and you can get involved in this also. The number 4817, mm. according to that verse. And I wrote profit P on my on my uh, uh, my uh, thing there for where I was writing my credit card details, and I and I was and I put profit P R O P H E T, and I thought, wait a minute, how is that going to look? And then I wrote, then I wrote under a profit P R O F I T, mm. okay. And then, th and I said profit. It seemed incomplete, so I wrote prophetic. Mm. And then it, these two words came together, and it's mm. like a, it was an explosion of the anointing, prophetic profit. Amen. Are you seeing that? Now, th that's based directly on that verse, mm. that God will lead you mm. in the way that you should go, Amen. right? And then that will bring you into the land of plenty and the Hallelujah. land of promise. And I, and I just felt an explosion on that. This is what we need, people. We need to hear God. Mm. We need him to direct us. Amen. And he's going to lead us to a place of abundance and Amen. plenty, to green pastures sure. and to a place of profit. There is a prophetic prophet. Amen. And someone said, if you want a prophet, P-R-O-F-I-T, I love this, you need to find a prophet, P-R-O-P-H-E-T, mm -hmm. and a real one, not these, you know, some of these other ones out mm -hmm. there. But, but uh, someone who's really anointed by God to help you. Mm -hmm. the, the central theme of the gospel is well-being, salvation right. number That's one, right. that you're delivered right. from hell, you're delivered right. from the right. devil, you're delivered from death. Mm -hmm. And and then God has all these other things in it. The Greek word was sozo, mm -hmm. S-O-Z-O, right. which is the whole benefit package of mm -hmm. salvation. Mm -hmm. The Greek word means the, the salvation of God, which Amen. meant peace, deliverance from physical death, Amen. from sickness, from Amen. devils, from fear, mm. from demonic oppression, from poverty, from mm. lack, from sickness, Lord, from ailment, from, from stress, Hallelujah. from pain. And then in the end, deliverance from spiritual death, mm. that your name will be in the book of life. Amen. And you'll, you'll be able to, you know, live w with Jesus for eternity Amen. as we're going there. By the way. A lot of people are really tempting God to throw mm. themselves into hell because mm. I don't know how uh, it's, you know, God made the place for the devil and his <laughs> angels, but people are really kicking mm. kicking their way to get in there by mm. the way they act. And I, But I always say this, I'm not going there. Mm. you got to make a decision. Amen. For nothing or no one are you going to hell. Mm. We're not going there. I'm not. We're, we're not going crazy. there. No, we're that's not. not our destination. Glory but in, in this earth now... Mm. We're going to have the best of everything. Amen. Someone say amen. amen. Right? 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 Something. Amen. <laughs> We're going to have the best of everything. The best to live the best life here. Amen. That we can glorify God. That's right. But not just in a positional sense, but that mm. we can produce more. Because the That's more right. you have, the more tools you have amen. to advance things. And I, I, I really see here... That God is going to raise up business people. God's Amen. going to raise up people. You're grabbing a hold Amen. of that. The prophetic promise. The Amen. prophetic prophet. Amen. Yes, Lord. I need that Amen. touch from you that in you speak to me and direct me in my activities that I'm yes, going to Lord. do exactly what you want. In and the, the thing that you tell me to do is going to succeed and prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 More, more on that next <laughs> Praise time. Praise God. Thank you so much, everyone. You know, I'm telling you, we, the, the anointed is just so much. Praise, Praise, the, Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. So if you're right there, if you haven't given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, because that's the first step, you cannot enjoy the kingdom blessing unless you're in the kingdom. Glory to God. So please say this after me if you haven't, if you haven't given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you have given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, your way is off, you can come back to the Father. Please say this after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I believe that you died for me. I believe you died for me. And you rose again for my justification. I accept you I accept as, my Lord, as my Lord and my personal, my personal Savior. Now, yeah. 
Father, I pray for everyone that has made you the Lord of their lives right now, the Lord Jesus. Even for to those ones that they have backslided from the faith, Lord, that they have come back just like the prodigal son, Lord. Lord, I thank you for your arms of love that you have used to welcome them back into the kingdom. Lord, I thank you for you will strengthen them in their inner man, O God. They will know you, O God, the more, O God. Lord, by the power of your word and by the power of your spirit, O God, you will strengthen them. They will know you more and more, O God. They will be giants for you in the Lord, O God. Lord, will speak unto them right now. Even unto them that are sick in their body, we command healing in their body right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We command healing in their in their fire, mind right now, in the name of Jesus. Fire, we command healing receive in their finance right receive, now, in the name of yes, Jesus. That. We command healing in their businesses right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we said their businesses will thrive in the name of Jesus. Yes. They will take your hands off their businesses. Yes. Take your hands off their finance. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen. Thank you so much, man of God. Isaiah 48, 17 mm. says, I am the Lord your God. Hallelujah. Who will teach you how to profit mm. and lead you in the way that you should go. Amen. God's will for you is good. Amen. And he wants to lead and direct you. Receive Glory more from him. Mm. Make this a special time to cry out to God and connect Lord. with him and let him give you Praise his instructions. Amen. I'm Thomas Manton the fourth, and this is Pastor O, our beloved Glory covenant bro brother here. And uh We'll see you right here next time in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Please go ahead and share this message and let this, this message be a blessing to someone. And until next time, remember that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. Great. Praise God. Glory to God.